Hey everyone, and welcome to the Deep Dive. Today we're diving into a scene from Folded, the sci-fi novel that really got me thinking. It's about loss, grief, and uh, well, how technology plays into all of that, almost like Black Mirror, you know, but maybe with a bit more heart to it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Take something we all go through, you know, grief, and puts it in this future setting. Makes you wonder if technology actually changes how we deal with loss, yeah. or if some things just stay like fundamentally human. Right. Okay. So the scene, it kind of throws us right into things. We're with Noah, this father who's grieving his daughter. He's in this super sleek, futuristic city. But the author also keeps bringing up nature, like fields and trees, even just the open sky. It's almost like those natural things are like totally at odds with all the technology around him. I see. I see. It's like the author's using the setting to show us what's going on inside Noah, right? Like you've got the city all hustle and bustle, showing that life just keeps moving even when you're dealing with loss. But then there's nature, offering a place for him to just be, to reflect, to deal with those raw emotions that, you know, technology can't really touch. And in the middle of all this, we meet Camille. She's Noah's uh, synthetic companion. And she's not just some basic AI assistant like what we have now. The author really goes out of their way to make her feel real to the point where you start asking yourself, like, does she actually get what Noah's going through? Right. Like, she's not just there to grab him a coffee or, you know, set reminders. There's this one part where she picks up on Noah's totally overwhelmed just by how he's acting. And she's like, hey, let me make dinner. It's subtle, but it makes you think, can AI ever actually be there for someone emotionally? Yeah. Or is it all just, you know, really good programming? And even if it is just programming, does it really matter if it brings someone comfort? That is a really good question. I mean, we're already seeing those grief chatbots popping up and AI companions that are supposed to, like, offer emotional support. So the story feels weirdly possible, you know? Oh, absolutely. And it makes you wonder, like, at what point does AI become less of a tool and more of something that could actually hold us back from connecting with, you know, other people, especially when we're grieving? Mm. Is there a risk of like depending too much on something that can't truly replace actual human connection. And that whole thing about real connection versus like this artificial comfort, it becomes even more intense when Noah talks to his wife, Hannah, on the phone. She's busy planning a memorial for their daughter, trying to find ways to like honor her. But Noah, he's just not there yet. He's angry, he's hurting, and he doesn't want to pretend he's okay. It's like the other side of things, you know, even in this like, advanced future, grief is still messy. It's raw and people don't always deal with it in a way that everyone else thinks is, you know, acceptable. Yeah, for sure. Hannah's looking for comfort in like celebrating her daughter's life, keeping her memory alive. But Noah, he's almost stuck. Like he can't even imagine moving on. Makes you wonder, is there even a right way to grieve? Maybe that's what the author is trying to figure out here. You know, we all go through loss differently, but it's like there's this pressure, this expectation to grieve a certain way mm -hmm. and only for so long. Like if we really let ourselves feel it, we're making other people uncomfortable. Right. It's like we're supposed to have it all together, even when something like this happens, which just like isn't real. Mm -hmm. And this is where it gets even more interesting, because even with all this futuristic technology around him, what Noah really wants is something no amount of tech can give him. He just says straight up, I want my daughter back. It's such a like powerful human thing to say. Yeah really shows the limits of technology no matter how advanced it gets like all the cool gadgets and futuristic stuff just fades away and you're left with this this deep need for connection something that goes beyond anything well material exactly and it's not even just about like bringing her back physically it's about those things you can't touch the love the memories they shared Technology can create a good illusion, but can it ever really, like, capture the essence of a person? That's the big question, right? And I think the author leaves it open for us to think about. Yeah. But there's this glimmer of hope, even though Noah's missing his daughter so much. It's in that last scene with Camille. Oh, yeah, when he lets himself just be comforted by her, right? Takes her up on that dinner offer, and they head back home together. It's small, but it feels like maybe a turning point for him, like one tiny step forward. And it takes us back to that question from before, can AI actually give real emotional support? Even if what Camille does is, you know, just part of her programming, it clearly helps Noah in that moment. Yeah. Makes you wonder if a human connection isn't there, could AI be a way for us to deal with those tough emotions? Yeah, it really makes you think about like where grief and technology could go together. You know, it's yeah. like we have this natural instinct to hold on to what we've lost, to wish things were different. And now with all this AI stuff, that kind of world where those wishes could actually happen, 
It's getting closer. Exactly. Like, imagine having a digital copy of someone you lost, someone you could actually talk to. Mm -hmm. Would that help you heal? Or would it just make it harder to move on? Folded doesn't give us a straight answer, but I think it does a great job of showing us both sides. For sure. And it's not just about, like, making these perfect replicas. It's about AI being able to, like, read our emotions, know what we need before we do, and offer support that's tailor-made it's cool but kind of creepy too right it is yeah yeah makes you think in a world where tech is everywhere what happens to actual human connection mm -hmm. can some algorithm really replace what another person can give you that empathy that understanding and what about us you know what if we start needing tech to get those things does it change how we grieve how we even build relationships how we see the world those are the questions we're left with and i think they're important ones Folded doesn't hand us the answers, but it gives us a peek into what could be, and it's both exciting and, uh, well, a little scary. Makes you think, for sure. Like, if someday tech can copy or even really be, like, a human connection, what happens to, well, human relationships? That's a big one to end on. But, hey, that's what the deep dive's all about. Exactly. The best questions are the ones that don't have easy answers. You got that right. So to everyone listening, here's something to think about. As AI gets more advanced, how do you think it'll change the way we experience and deal with grief? It's a conversation we got to have, and hopefully this episode gave you a good starting point. And maybe even a little bit of hope that even with all the loss and crazy tech in the world, there's still a place for human connection, even if it's messy and complicated. Well said. And on that note, thanks for joining us on this deep dive into Folded. Until next time. Keep exploring, keep asking those tough questions, and keep diving deep.